Good morning, everybody. Today is the 26th of July, 10 a.m. And you know what? Today is just gonna be hot. Not crazy hot like it's been for several days here. Not 105, 93. That's why I'm out. Today, we're going to a walking tour by Authentic Malta. Meeting time's at 10.30. It's a 50 minute walk away and after the walking tour I plan to go to the the ancient site that I didn't get to. Is it called Tarkson? I think it's called Tarkson. I'll correct it in the screen. That was the one that I wanted to go with Hypogeum but got there too late and then I want to take a ferry to Slima I think that's the way it's pronounced you know the Maltese language is very weird pronunciation is very weird I'm sure I'm not pronouncing any of these correctly oh I had to make a turn right here went too much so the crazy temperatures are no joke 105 for several days and there's wildfires in Rhodos Island like half of the island is on fire I got lucky that I was there while it was good weather no fires and I didn't set those fires because I left before the fires it's not me but it's it's a tragedy all these people displaced I think you know like 40 people have been killed across Greece there's other islands on fire. I think Corfu's on fire too. Crazy. And the smoke. You can see the smoke. Even here in Malta. You could kind of feel it too. Last night it was really, really uh, smoky. Okay. We got to go across here. I got to look both sides. Oh, like there. I could have gotten run over. You know? They drive on the wrong side of the street and they don't stop for you there's another car could have gotten run over again okay we're clear there's another car coming he's not he's not gonna stop for me so I gotta run there's a huge cruise ship MSC something MSC world that's humongous Dock, docked right next to us that means they're gonna be a lot of tourists I have a bit of time so I'm gonna get some uh, breakfast from the bus station breakfast to go I've been making coffee in the room using the Stanley coffee thermostat I've been carrying this thermostat I've been carrying this thermostat hoping to make coffee there's like hot water kettle or microwave there were none except for at Malta so I bought some coffee grounds and made some coffee this one is not open how about the next one this one's open Or 50 euros. I think it's gonna be my brunch. It's pretty big. I think these are the gates of Vlada. Yeah, the sandwich is pretty good. Alright, found my tour group. I believe they're experienced Malta. That's what they're called. My guide's name is Tracy. And we're meeting in front of the Parliament building. It's a Parliament building. There's some sort of a Greek, no, that's a Roman temple, I believe. I was supposed to take this walking tour two days ago, but it was 105. 
So I rescheduled it to today. It's only 93. the limestone, most especially with this hard stone. This is not very ideal for construction. It is ideal, okay, for pavements, but not for construction. See, also shark teeth. I do actually have a picture with me. Those are fossils. But I would need to in the it uh, stone. And I can show you what I'm talking about when it comes to these fossils, all right? There are trilobites and shark teeth. that the new one is better. That's this the is the old, old entrance. entrance. This one, okay? That's the new entrance. All right, great tour so far. She gave the history of the Knights of St. John, which I've sort of known from my previous visits in this travel, in this trip. Um, but there's a couple of facts that I didn't know. First of all, they started from Amalfi. I think I saw a sign a cross that was like a Knights of St. John cross in Amalfi and I was wondering if that was Knights of St. John and I guess it, it was because they started in Amalfi and they went to Jerusalem to try to establish a hospital they got kicked out they went to Rodos stayed there for 200 years they got kicked out came here eventually stayed here for 200 years um, first they settled in the south of the island but when the Ottomans attacked that got destroyed so they established the city here there wasn't a city here before it was just a pile of rocks like a big huge pile of rocks a big rock and they carved the city out of the rocks they stayed for 200 years and Napoleon tricked them. Uh, Napoleon said he needed some fresh water, came in with the ship, okay, took over. I thought this was a Roman temple, but this was built up, built by the British. This was built by the British, probably 1700s, but it was bombed during World War II. This was bombed in the first few days of the war and now they made it into an open theater but people are complaining because there's no shade so it's only available a certain part of the day um, and there's sound that, that's going to escape out of this and it's going to bother the neighborhood So he is why this is called Valletta. He was a grandmaster during uh, the construction of Valletta. He didn't see the, the finished city, but um, he started the construction. And she talked a lot about how Europeans beauty was so different back then I'm gonna talk about it later of where there is the fungus rock just by the land close to that watchtower okay European fashion Louis the 13th King of France who was going bald and he shaved his head wore a wig and everybody else followed him everybody shaved their head even the woman even if he had a full head even if he had a full hair even if you are not bald, you shaved your head and you put on a wig. And the collar, 
was warned because bugs would come and attack the wig. The wig had animal fat and they had to glue it with honey. So the collar was like a barrier between the rest of the body and the bugs. Okay, back to the fashion. So they had this wig full of honey, glued with honey, full of fat, and the woman would make themselves look older. That's like really counterintuitive. But the reason why they make themselves look older is older the woman, more experienced, wiser the woman is. So they would purposely put on these rice makeup to make their skin wrinkly and it's, it's really different from our beauty standard the men would have their portraits made and they would make their eyes bigger their ears bigger their nose bigger because they're trying to imply that those long nose means they also got long other things